dear learners welcome to the course bcoc 134 business mathematics and statistics let me introduce myself i am professor ms senam raju director school of management studies commerce discipline now we are going to discuss the topic mode which is part of part b business statistics unit 13 measures of central tendency so you know what is the measures of central tendency measures measures of central tendency is nothing but identifying a value of variate which represents the entire data set there are various measures of central tendencies we can call it as averages so so far you might have studied mean and median so if we see the categories of the measures of central tendency you know that there are mathematical averages that is mean geometric mean and harmonic mean positional averages median mode and special averages moving average and progressive averages now we are going to discuss on mode which is unit 13 sub topic of 13.9 so already you have studied the mean which gives the representative value of the data it is nothing but center of gravity <coughs> and median when the data is open ended data and the values vary variations are very high therefore you can apply the median now coming to the mode if we want to define the mode the mode is the value of variate which repeatedly occurs or frequently occurs in a set data so you can say mode is the value of variate which is repeated most often in the data set you may ask immediately a question is it applicable this identification of the mode is applicable for all sets of data no it is not true exactly in all sets of data therefore alternatively we can say that mode is the value around which the items concentrate heavily therefore we can say the mode shows the center of concentration but not the center of gravity like arithmetic mean this is the difference between the two it is commonly denoted by m lower case o or sometimes we can denote it by z also now why it is a center of concentration why it is not mode is not the gravity like arithmetic mean because the arithmetic mean will consider and take into account all the data for calculation but mode is not like that mode is the value of variate which is repeated most often i can explain before that what is the usefulness of mode see for example footwear industry garment industry what is their objective they have to manufacture footwear for wearing to feet so now how they can manufacture it okay first they know the design that is one factor second they know the size of the feet 
okay they know the size of the feet zero size to 10 but how much quantity they have to produce how this problem can be solved that problem can be solved through this mode only how see they will take the population and see the size of the feet in inches for example most of the people are having suppose six size then they produce the footwear more number because demand is more even simply if you go any footwear shop and you can ask how much stock you are having in each number we know that number 6 number 7 number 8 most of we use it to our uh, um, fitting size is maybe the 6 7 8 in between so if you ask the 10 number there may be only few quantity when you compare with the 6 7 like that even garment also they see the model design a fashion design that is the reason mode can alternatively say that a model value or a fashionable value so if you see how we can compute the mode there are so many methods actually broadly if we discuss there are the four methods one method is by inspection the value which frequently occurs on inspection that is one method another method is interpolation third method is identifying the mode through graphical presentation fourth method is identifying the mode with the empirical relationship with the mean and median now we are going to discuss first second and fourth method excluding the identifying the mode through graphic representation or graphic presentation because that is out of our syllabus now coming to the computation by using these three methods which i told one is inspection second is interpolation third is identifying the mode through the empirical relationship between mean and median when these situations demands or warrants to use the method it is not in our hands to use the method which we like it it is depending upon the nature of the data set we have to decide means which method is suitable will decide the nature of the data set only now coming how to use these methods in the given various data sets as you know that the data can be divided into two groups one is group data ungrouped data and another is grouped data and ungrouped data means individual series grouped data means discrete series and continuous series i don't want to go which are to be defined as individual series which are to be defined as discrete and continuous series because already you learnt those series so now i am taking you to identifying the mode for individual series in ungrouped data computation so here the suitable method is inspection by inspection means mode is found simply by inspection if the data is ungrouped data so the what is the inspection how we can identify the mode through inspection the value that occurs most frequently in the given data set is taken as mode now i will take one illustration for better understanding that is for example in a locality or in our friends 
uh, our relative circle, there are 10 persons, feet size we have taken in inches. In set 1, you can see the 10 persons feet size in inches, one person 4, another person 5, 7, 6, 8 and another person 7 <coughs> and 6, 9, 10 inches. Last 10th person feet size is 7 inches. So, if we see the data, is there any number frequently repeats? If you see 4 is not, 5 is not, 6 is repeating. But we cannot take it 6 since 6 is simply repeating, 6 is the mode. Means inspection should not be blind or depending upon repeating or occurs. Here there is a word in the definition most frequently. Most frequently means the number which occurs highest times. That you have to keep it in your mind. Therefore, here if we observe the first data set, 7 occurs or repeats 3 times. There is no other number repeats more than 3 times. Therefore, we can say more here mode is 7. Are you calculating anything with the formula? No. That is the reason. It is just inspection. Now you go to the another. Here I am trying to inject in your mind mode is only one category or there are any faces of the mode. Mode is having one face or different faces. I would like try to inject the concept of mode here at the initial stage. You see the second data set. Another set of 10 persons. Here, one person, six, second person, four, third person, five, like that, seven, eight, nine, seven, six, three, ten. If you see here, there are two different sizes of the feet of the variants. Variants means persons. 6 repeated 2 times and 7 repeated 2 times. Then which is the mode? So, this data can be defined as bimodal. Means you cannot define the mode. Simply you have to conclude it is a bimodal. Now, you may ask. The first the example is given, a footwear industry has to uh, uh, pr uh, manufacturing more number of sizes, which number of sizes. In the first set, definitely the footwear industry will go the preference of pre uh, manufacturing seven number more than after six number, then followed by other numbers. But whereas here, since it is the preferential value, sometimes we can call mode as a preferential value also in the practical sense. So, what are the preferential values? Preferential values are 6 size and 7 size when you compare to the other 4, 5, 10 sizes. So, it is a bimodal, not the single mode. Like that, you may come across the data set can be trimodal or multimodal also. This is not only the ungrouped data, even the group data, continuous series, discrete series also, the data set may suitable to identify, taken out the value of variant, mode value or bimodal value or trimodal value or multimodal. But we are restricting to concentrate on the mode value and only if the data set is bimodal we can also identify through interpolation or through the empirical relationship between mean and median. You may ask why what is this uh, uh, empirical relationship? I do not want to go into the depth so simply I can give a reason 
these are a one family that family is measures of central tendency when these are within the measures of central tendency which is a family definitely there should be a relationship this is the logic between the mean and median relationship with mode now we are going to the next slide to understand the computation of the mode in discrete series and continuous series first we will try to understand the discrete series so in order to understand the discrete series first we have to do understand the how to prepare the grouping table then after analysis table because in the discrete series variants are the absolute value uh, value of the variant is absolute variants are in different numbers variants means items that is the frequency you know that now you have to understand how to prepare the grouping table to identify the mode in the discrete series first you try to understand how to prepare the grouping table then after analysis table then i will explain why it is not possible to identify the mode simply by inspection first method i explain so for preparation of the grouping table you have to group this table into six columns now what you have to do in the six columns column number 1 you have to identify the highest frequency means highest items of the variant and you circle it means this is the frequency see you can see it is a class frequency written against each class or the variant value of the variant and the highest frequency is circled you have to circle the highest frequency you can say either it is the class or it is the absolute value next second column you have to club the two to by considering the first frequency you have to club 222 2. suppose if the num data number is 9 9 you have to just ignore the 9th then you will have the four frequency values by clubbing 2 2 2 you will uh, find the four values out of the four frequency values you have to identify which frequency is highest after clubbing the 2 2 by considering the first frequency that is the second column and n circle circle it next in the third column you have to ignore the first frequency and start from the second frequency again you have to club 2 2 2 2 frequencies here as i said if the data is in nine in number then last frequency will cover here here also after clubbing the 2 2 2 ignoring the first week frequency and starting from second frequency you circle the highest frequency now coming to the fourth column now here fourth column you have to start with first frequency and add 3 3 3 frequencies okay this is the fourth column then you have to circle which is the highest frequency in number means the total 3 3 3 now coming to the fifth column now here leaving the first frequency start with second frequency means original real original frequency then start to clubbing obtain the total of 3 3 3 group frequencies clusters 3 3 clusters then encircle it now coming to the last column that is the 
column 6. Now you ignore the first two frequencies. Start from third frequency and make it clusters of 333. Suppose at the end you find the 2 or 1, you have to ignore either fourth column or fifth column or sixth column. Okay, this is the grouping table. Now the question is, you may ask what is the logic sir in this? First original frequency, that is the column number 1, ask it to encircle and second column and third column 2, 2, when it comes to the fourth, fifth, sixth, 3, 3, because in the column number 1, you are considering the all original frequencies. We are considering it is the one sequence of the frequency that is column number 1. When you are clubbing 2, you have to repeat 2 times na? in order to justify the arithmetical uh, or calculative logic. When you are making the 2 to 2, you cannot ignore the last or first. Therefore, in order to cover all the data, you have to make 2 to. The logic is since you are making 2 to, repeat 2 times. And here you are clubbing 3 3, repeat the 3 3 3 by ignoring 1 first and ignoring 2 frequencies second and start 3. It is very simple. Okay. Now, coming to the analysis table. The analysis table is directly and completely depending upon the grouping table only. There is no need to consult in any of the other way. Now coming to the frequency grouping table, uh, analysis table. The nature of the analysis table is having two folds. One is vertical, technically it is called stubs where the column numbers as i said earlier there are six columns column number one two three four total six columns as per the grouping table are to be taken vertically you have to mention the grouping number of number one two to six next horizontal this is caption in the caption you have to take the values of the variants or the classes are to be taken. If it is discrete series, you will take absolute values of the variants. If it is continuous series, you will take the classes. Now, in order to understand better way how to apply this grouping table and analysis table, definitely we have to take some illustration. Now, coming to the illustration, this illustration, if you see, whether it is continuous series or discrete series. Definitely you will say it is a discrete series because you know to identify which is discrete series, which is individual series, which is continuous series. Since the values of the variants, who are the variants here? Variants are number of students, values are marks. So what does it mean? Simply I will say 55 marks have been obtained by 4 students, like that 70 marks have been obtained by 1 student in a classroom. So, who are the, how we can get the number of students? If you total the uh, columns of the each um, column, uh, number of students, you will get the classroom, how, how many students are there in that classroom to obtain those marks. Okay, leave it that. Now, here we are considering this data to find the mode through grouping table and analysis table. Now, anybody can identify which is the mode. Okay, by inspection to some extent there is possibility, but we cannot give the guarantee unless if we verify with the grouping table and analysis table. That is the reason by inspection one can say maybe 20 or 22. Why one can say? Mode is 
sometimes by inspection we cannot say the reputation in number because sometimes the value of mode may exist around the spread of items heavily in and around the mode therefore here we can say maybe 22 or 24 but exact mode we can identify means either in the items of the 22 or 24 therefore mode may be 450 64 marks or 65 marks but exactly we can identify only through grouping table and analysis table now you can carefully see the data a grouping table how the data has to be incorporated in the grouping table this is the horizontal presentation of the data for giving the illustration now you can see the grouping table marks first vertical it is arranged then the original frequency has been arranged against each corresponding value 55 460 marks six students like that so this is the first column so first column what we have to do we have to identify the highest frequency we have to encircle it 24 is the highest frequency we encircled now in the second column what we have to do we have to club the two two clusters of the frequency starting from first frequency so 4 plus 6 10 5 plus 10 15 so on so forth now in this second column highest frequency is 42 and circle it now coming to the third column what we have to do in the third column we have to ignore the first frequency that is number four students that is the frequency then you start from second frequency and club 2 2 so here we have to club 2 2 by ignoring the first frequency that is 6 and 5 we got 11 then after 10 and 20 we got 30 so on so forth now here highest frequency is 46 then coming to the fourth column what you have to do in the fourth column you have to cluster 3 3 and obtain the total cluster the frequencies starting from the first original frequency means here 4 plus 6 plus 5 is equal to 15 next 10 plus 20 plus 22 you got 52 then 24 plus 6 plus 2 you got 30 here highest frequency is 52 and circle it then coming to the fifth column in the fifth column what we have to do we have to ignore the first frequency and start with second frequency and club 3 3 3 so here 6 plus 5 plus 10 21 then after 20 plus 22 plus 24 like that then we will get 66 now you can observe one thing by considering the fourth column and fifth column i think we have covered all the frequencies now coming to the sixth in the sixth column what we have to do we have to ignore two frequencies what are those two frequencies we have to ignore fourth and sixth items then we have to start 5 plus 10 plus 20 35 then 22 24 and 6 these three cluster now you encircle it 52 is the highest encircle so once it is very easy na 
it is very easy to prepare the grouping table now you have to go to the analysis table as i said the analysis table is completely depending upon grouping tables now you go to the grouping table here what i said first the vertical stub has to be recorded the number of columns there are six columns and the horizontal you have to give the captions that is the value of variance here values are as you see here 55 60 61 even if you see the original data these are 55 60 61 62 like that here you have to give 55 60 61 62 66 64 65 66 68 70 okay now you go to the first column the first column 24 is the highest and its corresponding value is 65 marks coming to the analysis table at the column number one again is where it intersects with the 65 marks just you put one then go to the second column this second column which is the highest 42 highest this 42 two cluster together frequency represents the value of two variants that is 63 and 64 now 63 and 64 in second column so where second column intersects with 63 value of variant put one and where this second column intersects with the value of variant 64 put one it is over now go to the third column see in the third column which is the highest 43 is the highest how we obtained this 40 sorry 46 is the highest how we got this 46 by clubbing the frequency of 22 and 24 so both frequencies are correspondingly representing the value of 64 and 65 now coming to the third column representing 64 so third column where it intersects the 64 put one and where it intersects the 65 put another one then go to the fourth column like that see fourth column highest is 52 so how this 52 obtained by clubbing the three clusters starting from 10, 20, 22. What is the corresponding values of these uh, three uh, variants? 62, 63, 64. Now come to the analysis table, fourth column. First 62, put the one where it intersects. 63 put one, 64 put one like that okay even fifth column also if you see the fifth column 66 now you take 63 64 65 marks then you put 111 where it intersects and 66 the highest marks are representing the three values of the variance 64 65 66 put 111 okay now it is over now total it 62 163 3 total 64 5 66 64 5 65 4 66 1 now which repeats highest time here you have to consider the concept of oftenly occurs are repeats five times repeated through grouping table five times repeated the highest number of frequency that is 64 so 64 marks is the mode of this data when 64 is more now you can see 64 marks obtained only 22 students how it is possible are 65 
got 24 students because the mode will be influenced the concern the value around the items heavily concentrated now you can say 22 heavily in and around of the 22 heavily concentrated if you see the left side 30 students concentrated in the right side if you take two 30 students concentrated it doesn't mean that equally concentrated it happens here but heavily concentrated or not that is very very important this is the calculation of the discrete series so in the next class we can uh, know how to calculate we try to understand how to calculate the continuous series i think you are very comfortable to understand the anal uh, grouping table and analysis table this is very very important this is the backbone of the treatment for the discrete series and continuous series now i would like to tell one thing here we have identified the mode through inspection there is no calculation but procedure is there we have followed the procedure now this procedure is not interpolation interpolation is a, dif a different thing that is the calculation here there is no calculation only the procedure so it is neither simply direct interpretation um, um, inspection nor interpolation through procedure but we cannot call it as a different method why because this procedure also we have to adopt in the continuous series to identify the model class which you uh, will understand in the next class thank you very much for patiently understanding um, uh, viewing from starting to this point